Hello fans and welcome back to the TSN studios for part two of this week's Tiger basketball report. I'm your host Spiro Marikas. After picking up two wins last week, the Tigers are now 13-6, and 4-2 and two in the CAA. They have a tough game coming up against uh, the College of Charleston at CQ Arena, 6 o'clock this Thursday. The game will be televised on Comcast Sportsnet and I'll have the call as well on CBS Sports Radio, 1300 starting at 545. As always, I'm joined by the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. And coach, first before we get to the Cougars, boy, what an odd look when you look at the CAA standings. Six teams tied for first at four and two. We knew, one of your favorite terms, that this was going to be a dogfight all year, but I don't think anybody could have expected six teams tied for first six games into the season. That's unbelievable. It speaks to the quality of the league, top to bottom. Uh, I don't think there is a top or a bottom. And it's the most competitive race in the nation right now. There's no question about that. So your guys are 4-2 and two in the conference, 13-6. and six. And again, before we get to the Cougars, congratulations. Already more victories than you had last season. 13 wins this year, only 12 all of last year. I'm sure your guys are very pleased with that. I hope they're not too pleased because uh, we didn't do what we were supposed to do a year ago. Um, you know, we're, we're getting better. We're getting better. We're, we're still not consistently there. But there's, there's something there with this group if we can kind of just you know, keep the train on the tracks. All right, let's look at the Cougars. This is a team that started off very well, had a big win against LSU at home with big Ben Simmons coming into uh, Chris, uh, Chris uh, Arena and, and not performing well, and, and they came out with a victory. They were cruising all of a sudden, 2-1 and one in the CAA. They lose three games in a row, and one of those wins was against Hofstra. Now, they've lost their leading scorer and the guy who was leading the conference in scoring in Canyon Berry. How much of an effect has that had as you look at the film of the Cougars? Well, I'm sure it had some effect, but they're good. Um, you know, credit to Coach Grant and his staff. They've got really good young players. Um, you know, first and foremost, I'm, I'm impressed with their quickness and athleticism on the defense and the floor. They really get after you. Um, and then I think they really shoot the basketball from three-point land. Johnson, Bailey, Point are all guys that can make threes. And then they got another freshman inside, Brantley, that – uh, He's him a and the leading rebounder. Him and the kid Pointer got to be the, you know, two freshmen of the year so, so far. They're, they're both terrific. So, um, you know, guarding the three-point shot and taking care of the basketball will be two big things. And we can do what Towson does. We got to have big numbers on the backboard. That foul line. Now they come into the game having lost three straight games. So obviously they're desperate for a win, and it's it's always <laughs> tough to play a team that's kind of acting out of desperation and three straight losses. Do you think part of that is trying to adjust to not having Canyon Barry or? Is it just been, I mean, they've all been close games, so they're not getting blown out. I mean, they're, they're barely losing these games. I'm sure they're just thinking, we just got to get that win to get over the hump. Yeah, I think that's accurate. They could be 3-1, and 4-0 and in the last four, 0-4. Oh they're all close games. I mean, they beat Hofstra, pick first in the league. So, um, you know, it's uh, it'll be another war. I, I think in this league, it's really, you got to play well enough on that night. Don't throw out everything else. Two in a row, lost three. That, that, none of that stuff is going to matter in this league this year. That's already been proven. They're a team that is a little bit on the plus side in rebounding. You guys, you said before the Drexel game, we have got to dominate the boards, and you did. You had double-digit uh, rebounding margin over the Dragons. Is that something you have to have again against the Cougars on Thursday night? Yeah, we do, because that's our strength. Um, the other thing is they foul a lot statistically, so we've got to continue to get to the foul, and we're one of the best teams in the nation, and we're doing a good job of making those. Your free throw shooting, let's talk about that. And I, I'd like to look this up, but I don't know if it's possible. It's I think Walter Foster may be the most improved free throw shooter in the nation. I mean, last year he was a 41%. 38. <laughs> I think it was 41 last year. Was it 38? Yeah. Okay, yeah. 38. He was over 80% going into the Delaware game. Missed a couple there, but made a couple the other day. What has he done to improve almost triple fold? Well, first of all, most of the guys have gotten better at the foul line. Um, Eddie... Spent a lot of time on it. Johnny and TJ and Walt all struggled last year. Um, to their credit, they've all worked at it, first and foremost. That's how you make change. You know, input equals output. The other thing is we broke down film right after the season last year. We just didn't do a good enough job stopping me as a staff. We lost so many close games. We filmed like 30 clips of each of them, the last 30 free throws. We went back, said we got to establish a routine, much like a golf swing. We've got to stick to that routine. And then the assistant coaches, uh, most of them will be Coach Clark and Coach McCarthy, spent a lot of time with those guys on pre-practice, out of practice, just honing in and doing that. And, you know, when we get as many attempts as we do, we've got to make a, a solid percentage to win games in this conference. 
You know, you look at a guy like Walter Foster, and sometimes you'll see a guy go to the free throw line like a Shaquille O'Neal, and they just look so uncomfortable. And you know they're not going to make them. Walter always had beautiful form. The ball just didn't go in. This year it is. Well, and I think he's a stronger uh, individual mentally. He's grown up so much. Uh, he's an intelligent player and um, unselfish player. And he's, he's playing really good on both. He's a difference maker, there's no question for it, especially at his size and strength. All right, well, that will do it for this segment. As uh, today's Tiger basketball report has come to an end, we'll be back on Friday to preview the Tigers' upcoming game on Saturday against Northeastern. For Pat Scary, I'm Spiro Marikas. Thanks for joining us, and as always, go Tigers. When cold refreshment calls, Coors Light answers. Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Obviously, you want to be playing your best basketball coming down the stretch. If you are, it's very, very possible you get the, the madness of March, you can strike gold at the right time. It's not easy to get to, but it's, it's the goal. March Madness returns to Baltimore for the 2016 CAA Men's Basketball Championship. Be there March 4th through 7th at the Royal Farms Arena as your Towson Tigers chase their dreams of playing in the NCAA tournament. Towson fans can find the best seats by visiting TowsonTigers.com. For an athlete, there's nothing scarier than a torn ACL. Athletes trust us with their care and their careers because we're a recognized leader in sports medicine. Get back to your active life sooner with MedStar Sports Medicine. Rock and Jump, the ultimate trampoline park, is now open in Towson. Get big air and have big fun at Rock and Jump. You and your friends are sure to have a blast in our state-of-the-art jumping arenas. Want to be a rock star with your kids? Book their next birthday party at Rock and Jump. Our slam dunk zones, high flying dodgeball, and super popular X Beam make Rock and Jump the most rockin' birthday experience around. With a private party room and a personal party host, a Rock and Jump birthday party is great for the kids and easy on parents. Visit rockandjump.com for all the info or to book your party today. Playing basketball is a tremendous education. I've always felt athletics and the CEA prepares you well for life. You're constantly faced with adversity. It builds character, it builds leadership. Our kids recognize the need to be successful on the court for the rest of their lives. One of these days, the air is going to come out of that ball. And it's not going to be bouncing anymore. What are you going to do with your life? Get that degree, get a meaningful degree, so that whenever that ball stops bouncing, you'll be able to do something with your life.